Welcome to another edition of PLP's Distribution Tips and Tricks. Today, we will be talking about the installation of armor rods. PLP recommends the subsetting method for installing armor rods onto a conductor. We believe that this method is the most effective, most consistent, and most reliable way to install armor rods. It also takes into account safety for your lineman. As a lineman gets more experienced and more seasoned with armor rods, they may attempt to start fanning the armor rods onto the conductor. Fanning the armor rods means putting all the armor rods on at one time onto the conductor. It is the quickest way to complete an installation, but it also can go wrong very quickly. And the reason it goes wrong is because Lyman will try and force the armor rods onto the conductor. You don't want to grab it with the bare grip and just wrench them on. They're already preformed and designed to wrap onto your conductor. So forcing them will only bend them, damage them, and prevent them from being installed or damage them um, and to decrease their effectiveness long-term. So instead, we want to use finesse when installing these. And we'll grab them, put them over the conductor. And once they're on the conductor, you're going to be spreading them out. Loosen your grip and allow the armor rods to rotate and encircle your conductor. This is a task that also requires feel. It's based on experience and repetition of installing armor rods many times. So once they're ready, you can simply twist and wrap your armor rods onto the conductor. At this point, you'll see the rods fan out on either end. You can simply wrap to completion on both ends and snap the rod ends into place. Thanks for watching this episode of PLP's Distribution Tips and Tricks. Be on the lookout for more soon.